Welcome back, everybody. My name is Chris. That's Mike. Yes, it is. What's going on? This is third person. Uh, uh, Nosferatu finale of season two, Mikey. What the what the hell do you think about that? Yeah, I guess my idea, or my theory, or my my potential theory of everybody living in peace and harmony didn't necessarily work out. No. Nah. I think that our idea that the show would end after this is obviously not. Um, doesn't seem like it may happen the way they left it off. So that's good for us, I, though. That's good. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and you know, we 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 actually got a lot of we got a lot of questions about that. Um, and you know, real quick, we did a poll, and our poll was uh, who was going to make it out of uh, of um, you know the Christmas land, Christmas Chris, Christmas Christmas land. If, if yeah, you, if you will. If mm -hmm. you will, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we were pretty split. It was pretty split. Yeah, people well, thought you know, people thought they'd get they'd get out. You know, <laughs> they did. So you know, it is along what it is. with a lot of other people. So yeah, well, we got so we got a bunch of questions. We All got right. a bunch of, of good questions. Uh, yeah, they're mainly talking about the 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 end. Like what what do we think is going to happen in um season three? So. Yeah, I think if there is one. Right. Well, I think before we get into that, we have a couple of questions about yeah. what could happen. But yeah, before we get into any of those, I just wanted to Bef like be right. because because no one really, you know, a couple of things happened in this episode where I thought were really cool. I thought it was cool that you know Lou, you know Lou's like, oh, they're Horcruxes, you know. And if you're a Harry Potter fan, you know what that means. It means the soul is kept inside this inanimate object right and you know there, <laughs> there was a couple of things mike i don't know about you but like the very first thing yeah in the, within the first five minutes they pull wayne out and he doesn't start turning he doesn't start like disappearing and i'm like but yeah he's that's true he didn't i'm just trying to even notice that not at all not at all and yeah I'm like, i guess that was, and it was the fir within the first five minutes, and I'm like, but wait a second. He was, it, he was in the, he's there. He put his mm -hmm. ornament on the thing. Essentially, he's there. Never, never was there. Oh well, you got to be there for at least seven weeks. Or, you know what I mean? Like it wasn't any of that crap. So yeah, I don't know. It was a little weird to me, and I was like, all right, whatever. And then another thing that kind of annoyed me. I don't know about you, but like it's like, put him put him in the car like why is he still holding him and he's struggling oh I, I was thinking she should have i mean since they since they handcuffed him since tabitha handcuffed him they could have handcuffed him to something else yeah but but uh, but then he ran away and then he went to his and then he his found his bat him. yeah so, so cool. i guess that's kind of what'd you think about that i thought that was pretty cool when he starts like he it gets they break it she breaks it mm -hmm. and he's mm -hmm. like Ugh, he's like throwing up like exorcist yeah. style yeah, no, I, I, you know, I, uh, I enjoyed it. I mean, I guess I didn't, for whatever reason, I didn't notice that he didn't change as fast as, say, Millie was, um, you know, as, as you noticed. But yeah, uh, I mean, really, really cool stuff. Um, this episode, it's bittersweet with the finale and how that all worked out. But I mean, at least Wayne seems to be obviously still struggling since since back but he almost, he almost, well yeah, we won't he became, get into that until we answer asshole. some of these yeah. questions yeah um, yeah kind of strange so we will talk other, a little bit about that well, yeah we will get into one other thing i wanted to say was a oh, when souls fall i think mm. we both were kind of like oh that's probably they have to destroy yeah. the ornaments i think we said that and also yeah i told you that her tiles will make it back to her Remember, you yeah. were like, oh, how's that going to happen? I'm like, it'll happen, bro. Yeah. And yeah. apparently one of the kids, you know. Yeah, I thought that was interesting where she was like, she's like, how with the kid? And she's like, well, some of them still have families. Yeah. And... I mean, we didn't really have many questions about the kids. So I, actually, this is something that I kind of had um, like an idea about. Well, this because... is why I wanted to talk about it because we didn't really get questions about it. So. Yeah. I mean, so we have all these children and one of the strange things is you kind of see Millie's expression when she sees all these children, but that's besides the point. The main point is, is that a lot of these kids have been missing for, for they have to have been missing for like decades, decades, decades at this point. Yeah. So it's like, if this little how how do they explain who this kid is? Because now this kid would be missing for fifty years, sixty years, but he's still like a ten year old little kid. 
So it's it's something that's kind of strange to me. I guess they don't necessarily need to get into that. that well, right, that because that's specific. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, because Tabitha did degree, did yeah. yeah, Tabitha did explain that you know some of the kids still had families and this and that. But it's just very strange. Even though that would be... even that. Oh, you, I went back to my family twenty years later, and I'm still and I'm still that age. Yeah, years that's old, that's yeah. something that like would be difficult um, to really put on film i think or you'd well, have to have some that, well, super that, crazy that's all like writing right and that's a whole other thing that's like a whole yeah. show unto itself yeah to be honest with you. if but, the kids would have like went back to their time period or something like if they kind of like went to their time you know what I mean, and maybe not necessarily this real world. Also, this right, kid popped but obviously, up back in, obviously they did. I don't, I don't know. I, yeah, <laughs> and they were. Here's the thing: not all the kids. She didn't smash everyone. She only smashed like maybe like twenty of them because there weren't that many kids. That yeah. place is packed, dude, and on those trees were packed. Yeah. So yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and say like not all of them made it out. Maybe but, not all of them. Made all right. It so so let's move yep. on. We we got a bunch of questions. Uh. You know, uh, not regarding the main characters, more or less. Mm -hmm. But let's okay. Mm -hmm. So let's just let's just jump in. What, let's what just get got? right in. Let's get right into it. So we got question. Uh, first question from Tom uh, S. Thanks, Tom. Yeah, thanks, Tom. Uh, this is a cool one. Um, could the hood ornament of the wraith contain Manx's soul? Is there still a piece of Manx alive? Because they definitely panned to the to the hood ornament. Yeah. You know, during the episode even, there, like when the when, it was when even in the uh, it was getting crushed. It was even yeah. on the the chapter slate as well before before yeah, that section that's started. True. I that's was like, true. "What's that thing?" I was like, "What yeah. is that?" And then like, "Oh yeah, it's the thing." Yeah. So what do you uh, think? I mean, I uh, no, I'm I no, I don't think so. I think you think he's gone for good. Kind yeah, I of think thing? I think the wraith. Okay, so that end scene is what happens in the book. Which is cool because I was like, where they watch the wraith getting crushed. No, where he follow he follows them. Oh, he falls through the, the bridge. Yeah, well, technically okay. he's supposed to follow uh, uh, Maggie because, yeah. Spoiler alert! I'm about to say spoiler for the book. <laughs> it's past. We we're past this point now. We're off book. So in the book, Maggie dies. In the book, Maggie gets run over by the car, and okay. they did that in season one. Mm. Remember. Yeah, she yeah, got yeah, run over by a yeah, car. Went, yeah, but yeah. the funny thing is, is I didn't know that because I hadn't read the book yet when we saw season mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Now looking back at it, had I had I read the book prior to season one, I would have been like, "Oh, they got her!" But then they made her live, and that would have yeah. been a whole different thing. But yeah, so Maggie technically dies. Maggie in the book is is not as involved as much as she is in this in okay. show, which is, you know, which is which is really cool that that's what they've done. They've made Maggie like because it can't just be like just it's boring if it's just like the one character in this type of thing. I think it's really cool and interesting that they got, that they kept Maggie around and, yeah. you know, and we're going to get to her a little more in a minute, but what do you think? Okay. You think you, you think it's yeah. a Horcrux? You think it has a saw? I don't think so, man. He, I, he's I don't dumb. think so either. I think it was just a, a just a cool look, a cool symbolic shot, just to show. Yeah. yeah that, 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 right, that yeah. it's over. And, um, I mean, by the end of the episode, I think we know who's the next one to step up to possibly. Uh, right. So we'll talk about that in a minute. But before yeah. we get that, uh, just uh, as a as a result, uh, Greg has a question. Could the soul of Craig mm. now be free since the Wraith is destroyed? Yeah. What do you think about that? I, I mean, I saw this. I actually saw this question um, or people talking about it, I should say, mm -hmm. because at one moment, like the door popped open in the back. Mm hmm. Some people say that was like symbolic of, of Craig escaping. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it would be cool because uh, we saw teases of it when Wayne was speaking with Craig in the Wraith uh, about you know who, who the father and how how you know about about Vic mm -hmm. and how close he was to to Craig. So it would kind of be cool if there was maybe even a scene where Wayne maybe asks about her you know his dad you know it would be yeah. kind of cool if Vic kind of explains i don't know if we'll ever see that or if whatever happens with the well, show but yeah we might yeah we might but yeah you know yeah, yeah I, I don't know i mean i, I don't know yeah, i don't I like think the, so i like to think he's free i like to think yeah. that i like to think that obviously i mean the mom's dead 
Mm. But she's also free now because he's gone and so is Christmas land and so is his fears. And so, yeah, I guess maybe, you know, you can say like his soul is now free. Maybe he goes. I, to the yeah. Next, I think he can know. rest. I think he can rest yeah. unless he comes yeah. back. Maybe he'll come back. Who knows? We'll see. I don't know. But yeah, anyway. I guess we'll see. All right. So we're going to go to All question. Right, let's three. get into it, man. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's spitball these things here. So question three, this is from uh, Fred T. Um, from Facebook group. What will happen with Wayne since it's obvious he's still dealing with uh, the conflicting feelings about Charlie and Christmas land. Cause we see him hock up the blood still. He's acting very strange. The first the, scene with him with the fork. Oh yeah. He wanted to stab his you mom. Know? Yeah. He listen. He very reminiscent to me of stranger things. Remember when, um, when uh, what's his name came back after season one. Um, uh, Will. Will, when Will comes back and at the end, right. Uh, yeah. Spoiler alert for yeah. uh, that, but anyway, I know we're gonna just have to post post spoilers on everything that Whoops. we posted. Whoops. Anyway, this um, but yeah, so no, I mean, obviously he's never going to be the same. He's got these moments of lucidity, and then these moments where he's back. He's eating the sugar. He's he's outside. Yeah. He, you know, he he's he's going and finding Millie. Like, you know, I think. You know, let's, you know, these next bunch of questions are going to be like, we're looking to the future now, we're looking at season three, because obviously there can definitely be a season three. Mm -hmm. This is like, now, yeah. you know, I've read some articles and, you know, um, the you know the writers and some of the creators, they, they were like, well, if we get a season three, you yeah. know, there are some good things, there are some cool things we can do. And one of the things they can do with Wayne is like, kind of like a, a redemption. You know, is he going to help Millie? Is he not? Is he, you know, so that's a whole thing. So I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. I think. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. Gonna be, I, it's going to be a constant thing. Let's do, do, do a time jump when he's a little older, right? Yeah, I think that it's obviously, I mean, he Wayne asked Vic about, you know, Charlie and, you know, um, I forgot exactly what he what he said, just about, I guess, dealing with it. Do you still, you know, the the, the anger behind it and the reason her, she wanted to go after him yeah, and she all had this a really kind of stuff. Good Does it kind of go away? She had a really yeah, good so... I mean, I'm going to be hopeful in the fact that Wayne will eventually be able to get over it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and maybe, Vic too. maybe, and Vic too. yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's, it's traumatizing on both sides, but Wayne did a, like Wayne transformed to like another person. Yeah. Really. You know how what I mean? How do you come, like, how do you write, so how do you come back from? Something? And it's only been a month, right? It's only been a month. But what's, so and, let's, you know, and, and even the kids that came back, you know, the foster yeah. homes were giving them back because they just weren't, yeah, they made they it, their kids didn't feel safe. So they're all mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. dealing with, you know, I was watching yeah. this going, hey, maybe he will grow out of it, though. Like, maybe it'll be like, you know, when you have, yeah. when, you know, kids have childhood trauma, um, you know, not Manx, of course, he, he, you know, dove headfirst into his trauma and became a monster. But, you know, people move on and stuff. So, yeah, so yeah. I don't know. So we'll see. I mean, yeah, I guess... You know, I, I think it's a definitely up. Yeah, it depends. But I, I think that I can see. I don't think it's like done for him. No, I think he's never always. Like I think it's. Normal... I think like because like you said, it was a, it was a it was a physical transformation inside. Yeah. Like not just that's what he's dealing. I mean, that's what that's what he's going through right now. It's the actual coming back to being a normal child again. I think that's that's a big reason why he's still spitting up this blood and mm -hmm. and he's acting he's acting strangely. Look, he, he bit his he bit Lou, he, he stabbed his mother, you know. So this is something that I think eventually he can get rid of. The actual memory of what happened to him will always be there and the same for Vic. Yeah. Uh, but the actual physical damage, the physical trauma that that happened to his body, I think can repair. Yeah, you know. so we'll I, yeah, I, and I, you know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. talk a little more about that. We have another question <laughs> about that. Um, yeah. But uh, you know, the, all right. So our next question from Michelle mm -hmm. uh, asks, you know, even though that this this series didn't end, um, she says she's she's curious to see if the show will continue with Millie as the antagonist and wanting to rebuild Christmas Land. So. I, you know, this is something I thought about. Yeah, I think that's definitely what they teased us with. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, For sure. What do you, I mean, but I let me ask you, what do you, how do you feel about that? Do you think that that's a good attack? Like I well, said. If you guys, if, if you, the, the viewers, 
have been watching our reviews. Chris and I were kind of content with this with the with the series ending um, after two, as long as they did it right. I wasn't necessarily thinking that they were going to leave us with the teaser that they did, but the way they left it off, I think it's kind of interesting. Uh, I'm, I, I agree. I, I'm, I'm actually very excited so, to see that. Yeah. I think, I think Millie's a really cool character. Yeah. And her at the end, jumping on like the car with the two kids that like are, you know, going to the scary place, going to Max's right. house yeah. and all this kind yeah. of stuff. Now so, it's an urban legend thing. And I think yeah. it's really cool. And I think, I think her asking what, you know, the, the scene, it's one of my favorite scenes, actually, between yeah, these two with characters. Them laying down, and she she says, "Don't you want to see the Great Wall of China?" And he says, yeah. "Well, I want to go. Like, I want to go to Christmas Land." He's pretty like, much. Well, yeah, but he says what his line was, you know. But he goes, "That doesn't really happen." He goes, "From what I know, adults yeah. just they pay just grow and- up <laughs> and they 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 go to work all that they work all the time and they pay bills." He goes, "Yeah," and they're tired. He's like, "And I don't think I want to do yeah. that." So he doesn't want to, she asked him, do you want to grow up? And he's like, well, no, I don't. And yeah. she, so you come to find out that she hasn't broken her. He's like, well, why don't you break your ornaments so you can become mm-hmm. a real girl? She's like, well, I'm mm-hmm. going to lose this power. I don't want to lose yeah. this power. I, I I think that was a key scene because normally it's like, they kind of like roll reversed almost to where Wayne was the one persuading uh, well, well, being positive about the Christmas land mm-hmm. as a place. Yeah, but she also regretted it. That was the still... thing. She immediately, once she left, she regretted it. And that's you think? The I mean... Uh, no, she... Uh, yeah. She actually yeah, said, she said yeah. it. She said, I shouldn't go. Yeah, she's eating the deer and she's... She's like, she's like... I in no there, she, go. she says it. In there, she's like, I had... I was a boss. I had all mm-hmm. this power. She's like, out here, she's like, I'm foraging for deer and rabbits. She's like, this sucks. Mm-hmm. She's like, I'm yeah. lonely. She's like... So yeah. she immediately regretted doing that, and she wants to go back, which is obviously why yeah, she no. says she wants to rebuild. She says, I'm going to rebuild mm-hmm. Christmas Land one kid at a time. So, oh, yeah. yeah, so my thing is, yeah, but, I yeah. think it would be, yeah. I, I can absolutely see, especially if they, like, again, do the time. I, I can see them doing it. Well, how can show. she do it, too? Because it doesn't necessarily mean because she went to Christmas Land that she is a Correct. strong creative. But it doesn't mean that she's not a creative and and doesn't mean that she now has the... She's still state a vampire, bro. So maybe her creating Christmas Land is like hell on Earth. Because if we don't know what happens if she bites... She might bite children in the real world and they might turn into vampires like, i don't know i don't know what they could do yeah. or how that would work all i know yeah. is is that like i said let's just say for instance they do do a time jump and now he's in his like teens and he's yeah. still being haunted by her he's having visions of her he they're probably connected you know that right like they're probably there's probably some lingering connection between them because I mean, Manx. I think we've seen, and yeah, I think we've can, seen that. I can totally see him having like dreams of her and mm-hmm. them together dreaming of um, Christmas land. Well, and he draws forget, the picture of her, right, and... but Mike, listen, don't forget, don't mm. forget, we technically all have the ability to access our inscapes. It's just where you know, normal, normal people aren't strong creatives like the ones that we see and are probably going to see. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, what if they can? together they create an inscape you know who knows like maybe they do yeah that, I, you know? I mean i don't know it's just like um look look at um how old manx was in the flashbacks before he actually first um had his when he his, manifested uh, right yeah you know i mean he was probably age. yeah you know that that age maybe yeah, even so, a little bit older so it might maybe maybe their their ability hasn't even come to them yet so we'll yeah. I guess we'll see. I think I think um, I think it's it's an easy thing to say if there is a season three mm-hmm. that Wayne struggles with the decision to help Millie or not. She probably can get yeah. only so far and realizes she needs him. You know what I mean? There's tons. I can. Yeah, there's a million different story, things. It's just know? yeah, it's just the point. Of, the point of it is it, it actually they left it off to um, for some potential. Uh, I like a cool yeah. season three. So we'll see. So we'll see what happens. All right. So now. yeah, let's go to, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go towards Maggie question. a little bit. Yeah. This is from John C. Um, thanks John for the question. What will happen with Maggie now that, uh, that she's in search of the inscapes in the world of thought. 
So now this is the other half of the puzzle. Yeah. This is what this is what Yeah. This is more enticing even than than the story of having an antagonist because this is a very unique and interesting world and honestly it's like one of the only shows in recent memory that I can be like yes, you need to expand. Let me let me be a little more specific. One of the only shows based off of a, a property that's already established in another medium to be able to continue. This yeah. is where you want to continue. You mm -hmm. know, stories from the world of thought. You know what I mean? You know, escapades in the world of thought. Like, add any moniker you want to it. Yeah. This is yeah, really no. cool. She goes down. She accessed it. She figured out how to get it, how to get to it, I, we assume. This is what we're left with. Dude, I think this is amazing. She even mentions by name because she searched... She asked yeah. her tiles. I forget the yeah. names of the of the of the. It was like the something the, forest, the something forest, and, and um, uh, yeah. Sorry, we should have. It was there was there's a, there was a couple of them, and those are the ones we saw on the map. Remember the map back yeah. way back in season one. So yeah, hey, she might even go visit Pennywise. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, th this is what you want the show to be. So. And Absolutely. I think there's something special about the hotel because obviously that's the same hotel. Well, where yeah, she so met we the didn't know that, though, right? Like, I don't think we knew that. I think it was just a hotel. She just happened to go there and, like, not happened. Well, to no, she that's where, where she, that's the same hotel. I that's get the it, same but what I'm saying is hotel. I don't remember the hotel being anything special at the time. I thought it was just uh, well, I wonder, was. is it, I mean, is the hourglass man dead or is it just something special about this particular hotel? That's what, that it had can, nothing to do with the hourglass. I'm just saying it's, yeah. the, it's obviously the hotel because she it wrote. They said the tile said hotel, so yeah. she knew what hotel. Yeah. So whatever. We we weren't really yeah. given anything about that, but yeah. Either way, absolutely. absolutely. And it's cool how she has like she has like the electric, the, she you know, the electric it, go, right. and she, she follows, follows it right. to to her destination. So, yeah, cool. I mean, cool stuff. Uh, it does. It's absolutely. They they definitely broke it off. I mean, because listen, if. If we do like a Maggie kind of spinoff, or you you can kind of separate. That's the what whole I was thinking as well. Millie thing. Well, that's that, why I said. That's why I said. What if what if they even just did a spinoff? You know, like I said, escapades in the world of thought or adventures yeah. in the world of thought. You yeah. know what I mean? Something silly. Vic so, Vic is the is the one person that that's that's in the middle of both well, sides. Let's can we talk about that? I want to talk about that scene yeah. for a second since we're talking about it. You know, Mag. When Maggie proposes that she, you know, she let's go you know, play. We can yeah. do all this. She's like, no, yeah. the triumph is in storage, and I, mm -hmm. I want to be a mother. She's like, I'm yeah. not about. Like, she just got her family. She's like, my entire family almost died by me yeah. going to through Inscape. She's like, I'm not mm -hmm. doing it. She's like, I'm done. I want to live in the real world. And later on in the episode, that's what she tells her son and yeah. Lou. She's like, no, we're gonna let's let's. She's like, it's going to suck, but yeah. let's live in the real world together. Let's figure this out together. And I thought that was... And they left Colorado and all exactly. that too, which they is a big thing. Hammer Hill and it's like, yeah. I absolutely love that. I, I got to say, I really enjoyed this finale. And once, you know, halfway through the episode, Manx died. And I'm like, I was like, this is cool. Because now, I want. what are they going to do now? I want to see how they're mm -hmm. going to round this out and stuff. And I was very happy with this episode. I mean, you know, aside yeah. from the little things, like I said, how come... Wayne didn't yeah. start disappearing and whatever, all that dumb crap. But I was very satisfied with this episode. I thought yeah, it, you know, unlike some other things that we've watched and talked about on this show, I thought this was fantastic. I really, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was yeah. the conversations they had and the way they wrapped it was really good. They gave us enough tease to be like, I can absolutely see a season three with this, this, and this. Um, mm -hmm. But we do have one last question, which is still yes. tying into the end of this. If there's a season, this is by Jesse. Thank you, Jesse. If yes. there's a season three, do you think Wayne could pull Millie towards humanity or will, or will Millie pull him towards becoming a monster? I touched on this earlier where I said, yeah. I can see maybe... She's trying to be pull him either way to create Christmas land and she needs him yeah. or, you know what I mean? Or, you know, yeah. I, I, you know, the key, the key is, it's like, how can they really, she, she's not, she's not, she's not proposing building, making her own. She's, she's proposing, I'm going to rebuild what my father made. So in how the, 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 the number one, the number one, um, task is to how how is millie going to break that 
how she's gonna that veil. create the well well again to get there again again this is this is now you understand from i mean again we don't know a lot about this world which is why having a season three and opening it up and finding out how creatives really work mm. this is why i think we need a season three one of the reasons why obviously but yeah we don't know what it means to be a being who essentially died lived in an inscape for mm. d decades and is now back in the real world and still in that form. We have we don't know what the hell the ramifications. So, Mike, for all we know, yeah. she could very well create, you know, she could very well eas as easily create a new inscape, you know, and call it Christmas Land. You know what I mean? Like, we don't know. This is a being. I, that I, I think that she, it's all about her legacy, her father's legacy. And I think that it's going to be more of um, finding a way to rebuild the Christmas okay, land but that we listen, know. But listen, listen to this. All right, let's mm. let's let's step back or or let's take a little closer look at this because that's the impetus of a child. That's a rash, you know, illogical child just mad at the world, essentially, right? Yeah. Dad's taken away, her home is taken away. Now, come season three, again, let's take a let's let's time jump, right? Let's time jump ten years, let's say, right? Millie same goal essentially but you know now she's living in the real world now she understands more now she wants to shape it in her own image you know what i mean like preserve her father's legacy to a point but i feel like they could do so much more with that character where yeah when i was a kid i thought i wanted to create christmas land in my father's image but i'm going to do it in my image and now it could yeah. be even and even yeah. more twisted oh and, no i yeah i, I, mean? I like, agree with that no i agree with that i just think that um yeah I, I see where you're going. My, my thing is, is um, like I said earlier, maybe they just haven't gotten their, their um, opportunity yet. Maybe well, Millie's listen. still staying in the woods. She, maybe she kills those two kids in the car and that's when bang, the light goes off. And yeah, who knows? Maybe she, now the, you know, you know uh, she, I think it's going to be them, something you know? more like that. I right. mean, remember when the big tree fell or the great tree or whatever Manx called? He said, we planted that together or something like yeah, that. We, yeah. we started Christmas land with that. So I think that it will be the Christmas land that we, as the viewers saw, Manx's Christmas land. But she could build it her own way. It doesn't that's have to be I'm the saying. same roller coaster. And, well, right. But that's what but I'm I saying. I think it'll like, be the it'll, same. It'll evolve into a. You yeah. Know, and, but look, yeah. either way. We'll see. It's all and, she can, and she can pop. She can pop in and out of reality like her dad did. Maybe. You know, that's what I'm saying. There, there's so much that they could do on every yeah. on every level. And, and a lot of people love the show. Yeah. And, you know, I just it's... I think, uh, you know. It's finding uh, we, her listen, knife. We, we, Maybe Wayne will be her knife. That's a good, yeah. You know, <laughs> I, that's what I'm saying. Something like that. You know, it, I mean, they could, you know, again, again, Chris and I were totally fine with ending it after season two, even though we do enjoy this show. AMC has really come up with a couple cool series lately that we've reviewed. Um, even with though terror we're still pissed about that and, and the Badlands, Badlands, obviously. But I mean, listen, we're not going to discount some good shows like The Terror. I really enjoyed too, Great. and uh, and of course Nosferatu. So, uh, I mean, let's see what happens. Let's hope that there will be, will be a season three because after what we got in episode ten, it's intriguing to me. Like they 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 kind of left it where, all right, something really cool can can be made. Yeah. Let me ask you yeah. this real quick. Yeah. Well, they call it Nosferatu. I don't mm. think. I think. I think they can create uh, essentially a new series, even. Yeah. Because yeah. it's it's essentially. I I just. It I just could be Nosferatu. Wanna, like it could be Nosferatu, and then like now it becomes an anthology, yeah. like the Terror, yeah. right? Yeah. But I just don't yeah. want to see them tie it to the tie it to Manx. When he's mm. gone, and then to have to try and bring him back somehow, like no, let's just let it. I don't think it'll be. Yeah, I think we're kind of through. Let Manx lie and yeah. let's move forward. So listen. And how much? How much um, involvement did Joe Hill have in any of this? And oh, a lot. No, he, had, he actually had a lot. Yeah, remember that's he, what I'm saying. So, so, so as far as we know, the articles and interviews I, that I, you know, you know, you know, we haven't yeah. had a chance to speak to him, yeah. which we would love to have a chance to speak with him. Maybe we can mm -hmm. get that going on in the interim, but. Yeah. So anyway, so, so it depends. It depends. Maybe he has ideas in his head already. 
I'm sure. Listen, uh, dude, dude, this is of for course, something, man. Of course, it, once they made a show, you know, further, right away yeah. he's probably thinking this is cool because, and you know, again, yeah. in, in many interviews and articles I've read, you know, he's like, well, this is a chance to expand, which is what every. Well, like you said, didn't you wants. say that he? Um, we we had read the that he didn't have the hourglass man. No, that was a, a complete. And then he like it was like proposed. yeah. And they created, and that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He gets to jump back into this world. Well, you know, what creator wouldn't want that? Jump back into your own world. You mm -hmm. know, you spend, he spent, I forget how many years he spent writing this, the book, yeah. but you know, you spend so much time in that world, right? Yeah. You know, for a reason. You did it for a reason. You didn't do it because you didn't like yeah. it. You did it because you loved it and you loved your idea and you did it. So anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, so, there's a lot of potential for it. And I mean, even if they did like a Parnassus spinoff. Right. You know, to see these different creatives coming in and out of, um, you know, this this focal point of of this bar, this restaurant, and seeing. I, I mean, they can branch to, it off really yeah, cool. But I think I think TV's very fickle lately, and I think you got to anchor it somehow. Hmm. So, well, th th however, there's, there's doesn't mean Maggie there. ain't gonna get to the Parnassus. So, she, mm -hmm. in fact, she most likely will get to the. Parnassus, That's true. So. Yeah, that's true. Imagine yeah, she shows up because at the, the Parnassus, Parnassus is talking. kind of like a. It is that dude's inscape, but at the same time, yeah. it's also. I feel like everybody. It's, it's, it's like a meeting spot. Business. It's like yeah. yeah it's like yeah. a beacon, if you will. Yeah. All right. Look. All right. Thirty yeah. minutes. I think that's enough. Um, yeah. You know. No, listen, we got a lot of great questions. A lot it was of great, a great series. This whole season. Thank you. You know. Thank mm -hmm. you. For, you know. For watching. Uh, you know. Thank you for for the series. You know. We appreciate it. We, we really yeah. love this series. You know, Mike, you get to go read the book now because I know I have to because it's like have to. you're done now. Now it's like, done. yeah, so yeah, it's just you should because it's it's a it's a fantastic book. It's so yeah, no, I'm definitely so I'm, I'm definitely going to get to it. I mean, I definitely want to see the differences from from the show to the book. And again, we're going to post some spoiler stuff um, when we do post these the videos, just in case you haven't uh, read the book yet. Because we kind of talked a little bit about a couple couple main pieces of the book, um, like Chris said. I mean, we thank everybody that submitted questions. It's a great this is a great um, series. I, hopefully, we get a season three. Uh, with everything that's going on, we might be waiting a little while uh, before they start recording and everything's uh, you know filming again. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we thank everybody from the other Facebook group. We obviously began our own, not far to Facebook group, but we've been getting some cool content from, um, the, the other Facebook, uh, Nosferatu AMC fans page. And that description, uh, the link is in the description below. So check them out. They have some really cool interviews with a lot of the cast. Uh, it's a great, great podcast. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I mean, po a third person pod on all the social media outlets. Yep. Um, we'll be seeing you for, I think we're going to be doing right. The world, uh, beyond from walking dead. Uh, yeah, we're going right? to check it out again. Listen, I'm we gonna... have the finale on the fourth, uh, uh, October 4th. Yeah, October, we'll get that finale October, of the yeah, walking well, dead. It, you know, so you may not hear from us for a month for or a so, little while. Um, yeah. But, you know, we'll work on some stuff to see what else is going on. I, I, yeah. I, can, I, I mean, we got to do, cool we got to do, uh, we got to do Mandalorian. Um, Mandalorian. That comes yeah. Back on I'm scene. like super psyched about the Mandalorian. Yeah, we should I've been talk, watching them know, again. About that. You know what it is? I think that like, I kind of didn't start it until I think the sixth or the seventh episode or something like that. Uh, so we're a little late. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. But we're that's we're a great really series. Late. So I really would like to do that. I mean, if there's got any a lot other of stuff series guys, you know that, you know, if there's anything else that you, that you think that we would like, I mean, obviously you watch our channel, you know what we like. Yeah. Um, I, I have some suggestions that I'm going to mention to Mike off, you know, once we're done here, mm -hmm. but you know, let us know. Let us know, and yeah. we'll see. You know, if we both are for both into it, and because normally, if one of us is into some, the other one's not. It's not really sometimes. Yeah. You know, we we don't. We just you know, there've been plenty of shows where we're like, hey, do you like this? And the one of us is like, man, I'm not into that. And we're like, all right, you know, <laughs> hey, that's fine. That's it. You know, yeah. but you know, we both yeah. want we want something that both of us enjoy. Yeah. That we can you know be enthusiastic about. So, right. anyway, with that, again, yes. lastly, one more time, thank you so much. Stay tuned here. Go check out our, our interview uh, with John Bruno, special effects for Nosferatu and 
and uh, who knows? Maybe we can get some of these. Uh, you know. Yeah, we can see if we can line up some some uh, interviews. I mean, those are some of the funnest videos for both of us is right, to get yeah. to talking with a lot of these people that are of involved in the shows that we yeah. that we review. So we'll see. I mean, guys, we'll keep you posted on whatever we decide um, in in our yeah, future content. You know, and you know how it works. You know how this all works. So yes, sir. That's it. Thank you, everyone. We love you. We'll see you next time. Be safe. Peace. Peace.